circles. First we'll have a look at the basic circle, centre of the origin. We know about circles that from the centre to the edge is the same all the way around. It's called the radius, we'll call it R. Now that coordinate on the circle can be defined as X across and Y up. So we can draw ourselves a little triangle in with R as the hypotenuse, X and Y as the two sides. Pythagoras tells us very simply that X squared plus Y squared equals R squared. That's our basic equation for a circle. And that only works when the centre's at the origin. If the centre isn't at the origin, we're going to have to shift it. And the way we'll shift it is we'll use our standard transformations. Or I'll actually show you from another picture. Again, from the centre to the edge, it's called the radius, R. The centre will give it a generic point, we'll call it AB. Now, if we try and draw that same triangle in, that bottom edge is actually X minus a because you've got x across but the center is a across so the difference you're left with is x minus a same for the height you've got y minus b that gives us by pythagoras x minus a l squared plus y minus b l squared equals r squared so that's for a circle center a b radius r and the other one was for a circle center the origin radius r We'll have a look at some examples. Write down the centre and the radius of the circle. X minus 3 all squared plus Y plus 1 all squared equals 16. Well, we can just write down the centre as 3 minus 1. It's the solution of the bracket. It's the opposite of the number in the bracket. So X is going to be plus 3. The Y is going to be minus 1. And remember the formula was X minus A all squared plus Y minus B all squared equals R squared. So the radius is the square root of 16, so the radius is 4. Another example, find the centre and the radius of the circle, x squared plus y squared minus 10x plus 12y minus 3 equals 0. Well this isn't in our standard circle form, so we're going to have to put it into circle form. And the way we put it into that standard circle form is a technique called completing the square. To make it easier to see, what I'll do is I'll group my x's together and I'll group my y's together. So the x is in blue, x squared minus 10x. The y is in green, plus y squared plus 12y. And then I'll move the other numbers to the other side, equals 3. Completing the square on this, I half the coefficient of the x, so I get x minus 5 all squared. And then I have to take away that 5 squared, so I take away 25. Same for the y's y plus half of the 12, so it's y plus 6, all squared, minus the 6 squared, so that's minus 36, and that still equals the 3. I'm almost there, I need to put it into circle form, so I'm going to move the 25 and move the 36 across. x minus 5 all squared plus y plus 6 all squared equals 64. Find the centre and the radius of this, well the centre is just going to be 5 minus 6, and the radius is going to be 8. We'll look at another example like this. Find the centre and the radius of 2x squared plus 2y squared plus 12x minus 5y plus 20 equals 0. Well, then 2s in front of the x squared and the y squared, they're going to cause us a problem. Because the standard form doesn't have the 2s in it. The standard form moves everything to the other side. Just on an aside, if the numbers were different, it wouldn't be a circle. So, what we're going to do is we're going to divide through by 2. That gives us x squared plus y squared plus 6x minus 5 over 2y plus 10 equals 0. Doesn't look as pretty, but it's going to be easier for us to deal with. Again, dealing with the x's, I get x plus half the 6. So I get x plus 3 all squared minus the 9. Dealing with the y's, I get y minus 5 over 4 all squared. And take away that 5 over 4 squared, which is going to be 25 over 16. Plus on the 10 equals 0. Tidying everything up now, I get x plus 3 all squared plus y minus 5 over 4 all squared equals 9 over 16. I can write down now the circle as a centre minus 3, 5 quarters, and a radius of 3 over 4. Another kind of circle question we can get. Given the point A34 and B912, the ends of the diameter of the circle 
find the equation of the circle. Well, if ever you're in doubt, draw a quick sketch. What we can work out is that because it's the diameter, the midpoint of that is going to be the center of the circle. Midpoint of these, very easy to work out. Just the middle of the x's, 6, middle of the y's, 8. So the midpoint is 6, 8. We want the length of the radius. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from the 6, 8 up to the 9, 12. Or from the 6, 8 down to the 3, 4. It doesn't really matter how you do it. I'm going to look at 3, 4 and go up to that midpoint of 6, 8. In my x, I've gone up 3, so I get 3 squared. In my y, I've gone up 4, so I get 4 squared. So the length of the radius is square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5. So I can write down the equation of the circle just by using these numbers. I get x minus 6 all squared plus y minus 8 all squared equals 25. Thank you.